Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Help support my channel. We need to get to 1,000 subscribers pretty much as soon as possible. So then I go live streaming because YouTube policy that won't let me go live until I have 1,000 subscribers. Thank you to all the folks out there that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, please take this moment now with helping me. Click subscribe. Next, click the bell. And next, click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Plus, click the thumbs up button and every time you watch my videos. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on either my Patreon or PayPal links. If you join my Patreon page, then you'll get early access to these videos 24 hours before they're posted on the YouTube and lots more. If you prefer just leaving a small tip, click on PayPal. Either way, then you get that warm sense of satisfaction years down the line knowing that you helped me become a successful YouTuber. Saturday, May 7th, 11 a.m. New York time. Recap the past week with the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, as well as the 30 stocks inside of it. A lot of volatility last week. So let's determine, is the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index worse of the majority of the stocks listed in there? Is it better than the majority of stocks listed in there? As well, which individual stocks in the Dow 30 are still outperforming the Dow 30? Those would be leadership. Let's identify that. Those should be the ones being invested in. So looking here now on a weekly candle, let's zoom in first. There's a gap all the way back here that hasn't been filled yet, that blue line. Also have a swing low there that has a high probability of eventually being retested if we break below this swing low. Very close to the swing low. So for the week, we closed red. For the week, we made a lower low and made a higher high. Huge wick on top, as same as here. Yep. So all these traders that bought there and still in the position are losers. Yep. Because we traded below, we closed below them. They were wrong. They thought there was going to be reverse and going higher. They thought the trend was bullish. No. The trend has been bearish. And on these retracements to the upside, is where the opportunities are for better in known traders to be trading bearish. Yep. So notice here, the trading range as well is still extremely wide, very wide. A lot of volatility still here. You may hear some people make comments saying the worst is over, it's time to buy. Well, unless they show you their trading records of timestamps of if they're buying into these and still holding them, then they're full of garbage. Yep. Nonsense. A lot of uh, mainstream media wants to talk. Let's go alphabetic order. Look at the 30 stocks. Apple closed green. Yep. Made a higher high and a lower low. We're still way below the highs of the year. Remember Apple is a large percentage of the Dow and the NASDAQ has a big influence on the price action of it, determining where the index is going. Mm -hmm. Let's go extend this out a little bit. Let's go to the next Alpha Mike Goff November. Green for the week. Made a lower high, lower low. Big tail on the bottom. So buyer stepped in here, making a demand zone. We'll come out, we'll come forward days ahead, weeks ahead, to see if we're gonna next week go above here and also close above here. So trading opportunity is intraday for day trades, for swing trades. If we break above here, come this week. You may have opportunities for it to run up there. That could be a day trade as well as a swing trade. If you're wrong, you get out of it fast. 
but it's an opportunity to make money for income. Yep. American Express, red for the week, lower, low, lower, high, huge sell off of that. This is consolidation area slightly. Or no, it was the uh, long tail there. There was a retest. Yep, that's what it was. Remember that retest and broke below it heavily, close below it. So now we're in here, even worse. Yep. Again, it's worse than the index. The trend is clearly down. Look, lower highs, lower lows. Boeing, green for the week, lower high, lower low. Interesting too, that small little body is forming what to be considered as a, some people pronounce it as doji, some people pronounce it as dodgy. That could potential, that means indecision. So it could reverse and go higher or continue going lower. But obviously buyers are stepping in here, maybe dollar cost averaging, buying more as it goes lower because maybe they think it's near the bottoms. Well, near the bottoms is open to interpretation. Caterpillar, Charlie Alpha Tango, closed green for the week, higher high, higher low. And then as the market sold off, so did this, look at that huge tail on top. Again, everybody that bought into this here and it still bought it and held onto it was wrong. Mm -hmm. Yep. Charlie, Romeo, Mike, Salesforce, not surprise. Red for the week, lower high, lower low into this key demand zone. Yeah, in the past, this was a key demand zone where buyers were, let me zoom out a little bit longer. Let's go about, let's go even longer back. Go back, say, uh, four years. There we go. So all the way back here, 2019, that was a supply zone. Sellers up there kept on selling off every time it touched it. Then that next year broke above it, making it its demand zone, broke below it, making it a supply zone, and then broke above it, making it as a demand zone. So retest down here, one's expecting it might be a demand zone for buyers. Coming forward, look, we closed above it. We still have these huge tills on top of it. Wicks, tills, shadows, whatever you want to call it. Again, all those traders were wrong in the little body. So be considering that we both weeks closed above here and still small tails in the bottom. It's leaning more bearish bias, bearish bias. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Potential area. If it breaks and closes below here, Next target could be going there again. The retail has been showing for some time now, they've been very weak. On to the next. Cisco, yeah, red for the week. Lower high, lower low. Already below $50. Wow, big difference. Yeah, big difference. Charlie, Victor, X-Ray, Chevron, no surprise. Green for the week, higher high, higher low, huge trading range. Looks like it's gunning for that swing high again. Strong like bull. And Disney, no surprise, bearish. Red, lower high, lower low. It's a bad shape, yep. Dow Chemical, Delta Oscar Whiskey, green for the week. Higher high, higher low, made that huge tail. So let's go back, I haven't done this for a while. I drew these blue trend lines. The bottom was the demand zone for buyers. The top was supply zone for sellers. We broke above it here. We also took out that swing high. As well, when we took out that swing high, we also took out this swing high. That's good, but we didn't close above it. No, we rejected it. But now we're in a phase where we're retesting it. It doesn't mean we're gonna go all the way to the top. Let's draw the line. But we are currently making, look, higher lows trending up to retest this. Swing high. There we go. And let's draw that little zone shows retesting, yep. So the opportunity was if you bought it when we broke above here, 
And if you're still in it, you may be in gains. Or if you did advanced option strategies when it broke above there and closed above there, you might have done bull put spreads down here. As we're looking at the faster time frames for key levels of support. But look, it's certainly doing, it's not breaking below. So this trend is going up. Yep. Be cautious. This may be a potential retest area at mid area midpoint. Goldman Sachs, no surprise. Again, the financials are really in bad shape. Yep. Green for the week, made a higher high, higher low, huge till, wrong, they got stuck. Bad shape. Home Depot, yep, new low, new low for the year. So all this, here, let's label that. You can look at that as a staircase. And this week we broke below it. So what's one reason that this has a sell-off? Well, federal, the US Central Bank voted and approved to raise interest rates, raising interest rates means people have less discretionary income and that would be buying accessories or whatever they want to buy from home hardware stores. It's going to take a hit. No surprise. They're going to take a hit. Yep. That was well known since the interest rates were being raised already since the year. So again, I would not consider buying this. No. Hotel Oscar November Honeywell. Higher high, higher low, huge shadow broke above here. Yep, it's nice. Even though it closed back in here, we'll come out and see next week. So a break below here, one could consider trading bearish, or a break above here, one could trade saying bullish. And again, break above here, could look to go here, because that was a big sell off, as well as that swing high. Let's label this. So potential errors on the upside as well as down here. And if you notice looking at these stocks, if you know what industries they're with, you see the serves the correlation on which ones are worse off. Not surprised, yeah. IBM, outstanding. So there was a prior trend. We had that huge up, broke above it, took out that swing high. Let's remove that yellow line. And as well, when it moved up that week, took out that swing high. Just shot taking out that one. Then have the inside candle. What happened to the inside candle after it? We broke below it. We broke below it and it formed the tail buyers. So this is leaning more bullish bias. And there's the demand zone right here. After all these months, IBM may be turning around. We haven't taken out the high yet of the year, nor last year. But again, this momentum here, let's take this closes out, remove it. Yep. The momentum's to the upside. Already took this out, huge rejection there, but building calls to go higher. That's good. Intel, totally inverse from IBM. Yeah, took out the swing low. Let's remove it. And inside candle for the week, indecision. Johnson and Johnson. Yep. Oh, prior week was all time high for the year. Red, lower, low, lower, high. And in this key area where demand zone of buyers are, demand zone. And that's why we have that till there, no surprise. That's the, again, demand zone of buyers. JP Morgan, yep, financials, no surprise. Lower, lower, low, green, still the trend is down. Coca-Cola, wow. Red for the week, huge till, a bunch of buyers stepped in to like it. They thought it was a good price, so they bought it. So next week, if we break above this high, I would consider being bullish. Yep, maybe we'll take out that high. McDonald's, yeah, very interesting, wow. Huge shadows for the past few weeks. A lot of indecision, a lot of people stuck on the wrong side. But look, a lot of them are closing near the 250 level. Acting as a key price level. Interesting. Yep. But that being said, if it stays close in this range, 
for the next few days, weeks, months, one could be doing advanced strategies, iron condors or strangles. They both produce income. Yep. That's advanced option strategies. I talk about that often to my Patreon members. 3M, massive consolidation right here at the midpoint. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. So we're testing this. Let's open this a little bit more. This would be a good study to show you. Huge sell off. The volume, you're going to see it down here when I hover over it. The volume was above 23 million. Okay. Huge sell off. The following week made a lower low on less volume and it had a huge wick. bunch of buyers stepped in. Going forward, we had a retest of this green here, even lower volume, right? The volume there was 21 million plus 20 million. So again, less sellers were coming in. We had the inside candle still didn't make a high, didn't take that out. And then all of a sudden, watch this green candle here. Again, 21 million plus. When you finally took out the high, was there less volume. So no surprise, it wasn't going to have that follow through here. Less volume, right? 11 million, still less than that high. And remember, this low breakthrough was 23 million. So down on a huge volume, 23 million plus. And these retests were real light. So you got to think that this might be people still selling that they missed this opportunity to get out early and then going here, 15 million. Okay, even though we made a higher high, went above it midpoint, we didn't close above it. Yeah. So it still looks like massive selling going in 3M company. I would not be buying yet. No, it hasn't, it hasn't proven itself. So it's risky. Yep. It's all risk. Sure. Certainly all the markets are risk, but be using charts. I think I have a, Insight of determining what might be more riskier. Okay, Merck, MRK, Mike Romeo Kilo, inside candle for the week. It's in a huge consolidation near the highs of the year. That's good. It's bullish, much more than the other ones. And Microsoft, no surprise, technical stock, yep. consolidation, inside candle. Nope, it looks like we need to take out that swing low yet, but huge. Look at that. The past three weeks, huge tells on the top. All those buyers are wrong, people are buying it. Because again, maybe they think it's cheap. Maybe if they believe something's going to reverse and make it go higher on uh, the fundamental news that hasn't happened yet. No. And huge volume looks like still selling. It's being held up because there are some buyers still buying it. But one would expect it's going to have a break. Yep. Break to low. And Nike, again, retail manufacturing, not surprised. Red for the week. Lower, lower, lower high. New low for the year. Big problems. Yep. Big problems, huge down on huge volume. Well, some of it might be panic selling, but it's still not good to be buying. Procter Gamble, Pop, Papa, Gov, red for the week. Lower high, lower low. Yep, there was a high for the year. And then try to do a retest field. We'll notice what we have going here. Label this right here. This was a consolidation. So here, big impulse move to the upside, over 35 million. Again, watch the volume down here when I hover it, over, it, over 35 million. Big impulse move down with a wick on the bottom, 43 million. Yeah, 35 million, 43 million. So the fact is this had higher volume, but we did not make a lower low below this one. Again, we took out this consolidation and it looks like we closed below it. So it's not the time to buy it yet. It just shows huge volume and the location and the way it closed. Well, huge close in red, closed below the midpoint of its own candle. Midpoint is when you look at any candle, any time frame, and if we close below the middle of it, it's typically known as bearish bias. And again, we close below the midpoint, it's bearish bias. It's not time to be buying this yet. It hasn't proven itself yet. Yep. Tango, Romeo, Victor, Travelers, Dodgy, Inside Candle. I mean, Dodgy, Indecision Candle. Yep, it's not good. What's well, financials? Are we really surprised? Yeah, potential swing point right down there, potential place it may go to. Because that first time it went down, didn't fully test it. So this may be the area. Maybe that's where it's heading down to now. Let's label it. Okay, and we're almost done. Uniform, November Hotel, 
Oh, that's bad. Bearish, lower, lower, lower highs. Broke below the 500. It's a big key number. Psychological number. Yep, traded below it. Not good. Victor, Visa, again, financials in bad shape. Verizon, new low for the year. Big problems. Yep, not good. Whiskey, Bravo, Alpha, Walgreens. Green for the week, lower, low, lower, high. New low for the year, not good. No, I wouldn't be buying these when they're at the all-time new low for the year. And Walmart, red for the week, lower, low, lower, high. Just shy of testing that midpoint. No surprise. Again, retail, they're not the ones. So majority of them, majority of them are closer to the lows of the years. Let's do a combination again. And less of them are making new highs. We identified several of them are in consolidations. When you start seeing consolidations, there's a fair one to see consolidation. There we go. Chevron consolidation. And that was a stop hunt, bullish stop hunt. So good opportunity when you see this consolidation. And if you're bullish, you look for a breakout below it and a fake out back inside of it. The opportunity to be buying, getting to be buying better down here when it took out this high or when this was forming first buying on the breakout. So you already, if you did this strategy, I show off and you're already in gains. Yep. But again, the fact is the trend has been up. Consolidation, stop hunt. That was a bullish stop hunt. First, good. First, let's look at one that's on the other phase, Home Depot. Trend is down, consolidation. You're having several of these little stop hunts, bearish stop hunts, and then breakdown. Got it? So clearly the bearish one here, first the other one I showed you was bullish. Many thanks for watching.